World Famous Bedtime Stories from Mom Today's story is Robin Hood Once upon a time in Nottingham, England, nestled among the deep, dense trees of Sherwood Forest, lived a brave hero. His name was Robin Hood. His skill with the bow was unmatched. With a single pull of the bowstring, his arrows would whoosh through the air and hit the target precisely. The woodland friends would applaud, amazed at Robin's extraordinary prowess. Then one day news arrived that shattered the peace of the forest. External invaders targeting the forest posed a threat to its inhabitants. The sheriff of Nottingham imposed heavy taxes and enforced unfair laws, oppressing the people. Robin Hood took from the rich to help the poor. One day a nobleman tormenting the villagers was passing through Sherwood Forest. Robin and his friends decided to teach this nobleman a lesson. As the noble passed, Robin blocked the carriage and the noble fled in terror. The carriage was filled with gold coins all taken from the people. Robin suggested they distribute the gold among the poor. His friends agreed, thinking it a splendid idea. The poor were astonished and joyful, asking if it was truly for them. They thanked Robin, saying their children would no longer go hungry. Robin became a hero among the people and his fame spread across England. Robin Hood had many loyal companions. His closest friend was Little John, who always supported Robin, confident they could go anywhere together. Friar Tuck never hesitated to offer advice, illuminating the path with his wisdom. Called the Merry Men, they encouraged one another, practiced their archery together, and believed in their collective strength, protecting Sherwood Forest with unwavering trust. An archery contest was held in Nottingham. The organizer checked if everyone was ready. Robin Hood in disguise participated, secretly chuckling at the thought of winning. As the contest began arrows flew swiftly to the target. All archers gave their best. Robin's arrow pierced the center exactly. He was declared the winner. However it was a trap. Soldiers had been waiting to capture Robin. Surrounded, Robin faced imminent capture. But then, to save Robin from the trap, his friends rushed to his aid and successfully rescued him. After the contest, Robin met the beautiful maid Marion. Introducing himself as Robin of Sherwood Forest, Marion greeted the brave archer, smiling at his courage. A beautiful love began to blossom between them. Marion praised Robin's greatness, and Robin, captivated by her beauty and kindness, took her hand. Their love for each other deepened. In Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood and his merry men started another joyful day. Robin told Little John he felt full of energy. Always ready, Little John lifted a heavy log. Friar Tuck said it was time for a delicious breakfast after morning prayers. They gathered for a meal, proclaiming it the best morning. Sherwood Forest was their sanctuary, dearly loved. Robin admired its beauty, feeling free there. However, their peaceful life sometimes led to dangerous adventures. Robin, with a serious tone, asked his friends if they were ready for an important mission. They bravely set out to help the poor. The Sheriff of Nottingham resolved to capture Robin Hood and his friends. He sinisterly plotted, planning another fake archery contest to lure Robin. Believing everything was going according to plan, the sheriff whispered to himself. But Robin and the merry men, being clever, sensed the sheriff's trap. Robin warned his friends that the contest was a trap. Deep in Sherwood Forest, rumors of the legendary bow, the golden arrow, reached Robin Hood. Gathering his friends around a campfire, Robin spoke of the bow's power to double their strength. Little John was curious about its location. Robin gestured, explaining it was hidden under an ancient oak tree in the heart of the forest. 
The next day they set out on a journey to find the bow walking on dew-covered grass. They encountered animals that seemed to offer their help. Birds chirped as if guiding them. Finally they arrived at the great oak tree. Friar Tuck marveled at its size. Beneath it lay a bow and arrows shining gold. Holding the bow Robin declared they could fight for justice. From that moment the golden arrow became the symbol of Robin Hood's indomitable spirit. One day news of King Richard's return swept through Sherwood Forest. Excited Robin called it a true miracle. The king, having heard of Robin Hood's courage and justice, wished to meet the brave archer. Their meeting in the forest was quiet and respectful. The king expressed gratitude for Robin's valorous deeds saying his kingdom needed heroes like him. Robin modestly claimed they merely acted for justice and pledged to serve the kingdom's peace. From that day Robin Hood and King Richard joined forces to improve Nottingham and Sherwood Forest. With the king's support Robin grew stronger and his fame spread even further. However, a shadow of betrayal fell over peaceful Sherwood Forest. One of the merry men conspired with the sheriff, betraying Robin Hood. He left Robin to become the sheriff's follower. This betrayal put Sherwood Forest in great danger. Based on information from the traitor guy, the sheriff launched a massive operation to capture Robin and the merry men. Robin warned his friends about the sheriff knowing their every move, thanks to Traitor Guy. Despite the ordeal, Robin Hood and his merry men's trust in each other grew stronger. Little John confidently stated they would overcome this crisis together, asserting that one traitor could not destroy them. They united to protect their life in Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest was unusually quiet that day. Robin Hood and the Merry Men were enjoying their usual forest life. But in distant Nottingham Castle made Marion face danger. The sheriff had trapped her. Marion hurriedly wrote a message warning Robin of the trap. The message swiftly reached Robin in Sherwood Forest. Robin exclaimed that they must rescue Marion and they quickly prepared a daring rescue operation. With the sound of horse hooves they headed for Nottingham Castle. Inside the castle Marion waited quietly whispering for Robin to come quickly. Robin and the merry men scaled the walls to find her. Robin lifted Marion telling her he had come to save her. They escaped the castle and breathlessly returned to the forest. Sherwood Forest faced another grave danger as the sheriff and his soldiers entered. Robin Hood boldly accepted the sheriff's challenge, declaring it was time to end his misdeeds. The merry men armed themselves and confronted the sheriff's soldiers. Clashes of swords and shields echoed in the forest. Little John toppled enemies with a massive tree. Friar Tuck confused the soldiers with spells. Eventually Robin defeated the sheriff, restoring peace to the forest. Robin declared their victory, proclaiming Sherwood Forest would forever be free. The merry men and forest animals celebrated their victory. Cheers for Robin Hood and his merry men filled the air. That night, Sherwood Forest was alive with joy and laughter, and Robin Hood's story became a legend that endures to this day.